Um, hey guys, this is going to be a video showing off my upcoming equipment and inventory system. And I'm just gonna do a play here, so you can see. Um, it's gonna come with four sample items, possibly more if there are requests, as I'm still talking to some of my clients, asking for what they want to see in these sort of systems and such. So uh, the system is really simple. It's just a component that's added onto your phone, and and you just have to bind a couple of functions, and you can use it. So in this case, I've bound it the E key, so I can loot lootable items. And as you can see, the items are looted and they appear in my inventory. Um, there are two options for the inventory. There is a grid inventory like this, and there is also a second type of an inventory which is a list inventory so if I just unclick the great inventory boolean I can switch which inventory is active um, the list inventory um, it will have filters as well now those will be on top they are just not visually there yet and the items just display bonuses and when you hover the icon it will tell you it will show you a tooltip showing the bonuses and the requirements if those items ha have requirements um, in both grid and the list inventory you can double click an item to equip it or unequip it or uh, you can also drag and drop it um, the slots in the equipment window those you can create as many slots as you want and it's basically I'll show you that um, you can just what you have to do is basically open up the systems folder and there is an equipment system this equipment slots enum you can just add a new enum to signify your slot name and then within the equipment system you can click equipment slot, you can just do plus oh, excuse the system there um, just select the slot name give it a, you can give it a default item and you can click a plus to add all the possible item names that can be put into that slot just gonna that. once you have done that all you would need to do is open up the equipment window drag in a new equipment slot, slot widget and all you would do is just select which equipment slot is linked to and that would pretty much it oh and then um, in the graph you would have to add it to the array which basically works for the drag and dropping which then checks if one of these elements have been, if the item has been dropped onto one of these elements. Um, every item also has uh, stats which can be changed. There is a mesh transform, which basically you can edit these to, to set the offset for location, rotation, or scale when equipping item or when the item's on the ground. Um, each item also can have uh, stacks. If the stack is one, it's not stackable. If it has more than one, it's a stackable item. Um, there's also a boolean to tick if it's usable. And if the item is usable, when you right click it, then it will use, and when you hover it, it would show you a little message saying it's usable. For example, we can see the sword's not currently usable. If I find the sword, click usable. Now if I loot the sword, it will say usable. Um, the use and behavior of the items, as in what happens when the item is used, is when you open the the item blueprint, you can get a function use item, event use item, and here you can basically program it to do whatever you need. So, for example, if you had a potion, you would you would get the owner of the item and increase his or her health 
and so on. Um, there will be it will, the system will come with these items, of course, including the meshes. They are untextured, and they are just there to show that the system is working. Um, also, each slot is when the item is equipped. It's attached to a socket which is based on the actual slot name. So all I need to do to make sure that those are attached to my character. As you can see that they attach to the character and they move with it. All I needed to do for that to work is just find the skeleton mesh and just add the slots that are that have exactly same name, same socket name as the equipment slot. So you can see now the, the chest socket and I just have this, these preview meshes on there so I would, they could see that the sockets were working correctly. Um, there is also a drop module that comes with the system and what this drop module does is you can add it to any pawn and if you trigger it there is an array of possible items to drop. Uh, basically, it's based on an item class where you basically select the blueprint representing your item, the minimum number of those items to drop, the maximum number of those items to drop, and a percentage chance for the item to drop. And the idea of this is when an enemy dies, you, you would trigger this module, and that particular enemy would drop these items, and then you can loot them. Um, also, with regards to drag and dropping, you can drag to equip, and of course, the items will not go into any other slots than the ones that have that certain item type allowed, which in this case, a one-handed sword can go into only a weapon slot, nothing else. Um, you can also drag an item out of the inventory to drop it. There is also, there is, as you can see, there is coloring depending on the rarity. And these colors can be very easily changed. There is a, there is a function here. And basically all this is just a switch. And if you have more rarities, then there will be more output pins here. And all you would do is just go set color and change it to whatever you want. So in this case, I'll set the rare color to let's say blue so I'm going to find uh, sorry did a mistake there so I'm going to find blue color there you go blue now if I save this in game the color for the rare items will be blue as you can see So the item, uh, the windows are of course draggable, and you can close them down, and you can bind a key to reopen them again. You can also bind a key to drop items, or you could bind a key to pretty much any function within the actual system. Um, also, regards to the items, each item has an array of attributes, which are the bonuses the item provides. Which is based similar, which is similar to my character system, where basically it's an attribute enum and a value of it. It's the same for requirements, and there is also a function, a macro, which will convert an array of any stats into one that is compatible with this system. And in this case, the, what the macro does, it compares the enum name. Which means if you are using my character system and assuming that all your stats have exactly same enum, enum names, then they would be compatible. So a strength would represent strength in the character system and so on. There is also a function within the equipment system which will, which will return you all the bonuses of all the items. And it will return it as an simple array which is an enum followed by the value and you can use this array and add it to the stats of your character and so on. 
and in a very similar way it checks the requirements of of any item um, also the system has three different looting types um, the first looting type is a proximity where in this case the nearest item within a certain range is selected and can be looted and a loot key is binded in this case I have it bound to E so if I'm further away from item I can't loot it if I get close I can loot it um, there is also a second mode there are three modes in total um, second mode is a raycast which is designed for pretty much third and first person games where a ray is casted to the center point of the camera as if there was a crosshair which means I I have to be looking directly at an item and I have to be a certain distance from the item and this works fine in first and third person mode doesn't work so well in top down view and there will be also a demo map with both top view and third person modes just to demo this and there is also a mouse looting mode which basically what it does it selects an item under a mouse um, apologies for that and basically if I hover an item you can see you get selected and uh, again that's within a certain range from the character and um, at the moment I could bind the looting to click or I could have it bound to E as I have now and I think that's pretty much it um, there also are planned some other sample items and there are planned updates with stuff like um, having a different mesh for an item that's dropped on the ground um, having a different scale for that mesh and so on um, there are also planned sample items for items such as potions um, possibly even items that would cast a spell which in this which in future probably will be linked to the spell system that I've created in the past um, there is also in the grid inventory and in the list inventory will be available very soon there are item filters which let you filter out which items are currently visible just gonna go to grid inventory here Oops. and you can see if I loot the items and if I go all will show all items miscellaneous items um, at the moment that filter is set to show rings and other items armor will show helmet and just armor weapon I have a shield set as a weapon type so it will show on the weapon and sword will show on the weapon and of course all will again show all and I think that's pretty much it um, at this stage I'm also accepting requests for anything that people want to have added to the system and yeah I think that's pretty much it well thank you for watching and I hope you like the system and well, that's it bye